Yeah. Yo, so, say that that epiphany again. Okay, so Indians have historically been non-veg, or they've been they only eat vegetables. They only eat non-veg. Yeah, religiously, religiously. Yeah, religiously for like hundreds of years. Yeah. Also, yes. like they worship they they uh cows are sacred. Like they don't eat meat by religion. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, and like. You gotta eat meat to build muscle. So that affects how you look, like muscle wise. And people are like, oh, but they get plenty of protein, fucking beans and like nuts. No, you don't, bro. No, you don't. And like, it's not even like high quality protein. Like nuts, bro. That's like eating rocks. Beans, <laughs> bro. You're gonna be shit all day. Like, yeah, they don't wonder like Indian food smells, right? And, you, and then when you're when you're just eating vegetable stuff, you're growing all your food. So they're. Yeah, so the game is gone. For years. Yeah, there's no hunting game. There's no like reason to stay fit and active. Like you don't have like a like muscle and like being strong and fast and athletic in your in your system. It's more so sitting around like complaining, doing nothing. I thought I wanted to add this. I wanted to add this to the theory. It's a quote. I just thought of it. It's yeah. um we gotta refine the quote, but it's something along the lines of animals are for eating, plants are for smoking. I mean I like lettuce. Is lettuce a plant? Lettuce is a plant. But it's a poetic yeah, thing. I'm not, it's a poetic thing. Yeah, I'm not I'm not eating lettuce all the time, dog. I'm eating chicken all the time. Yeah. You can survive off chicken. You can't survive off lettuce. No, yeah, dude. So you see why all these Indians are such pussies, bro? It's in their DNA, bro. And also it's crazy in the you know, in the Quran it says human beings are superior to animals. Like they're made the God made them to feed us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so why are these human beings like <laughs> bowing down to this cow? What the fuck is going on? Look, the human is like, wow, a cow. And then the cow is like just like just fucking oblivious to anything that's going on. And it's a cow, bro, it's a fucking cow. And in the Bible it says don't worship false gods. Yeah, dude, don't they worship idols? Yeah, you can't worship idols, you can't worship false gods, all that shit. <laughs> also, that one last thing. Who is today's representation of India? Dude, Neon. Neon, dude. That's so crazy to think about. He's Indian Pakistani from Houston, bro. Houston. Oh, wait, he's from Houston? Yes. Of course. Why didn't I see it earlier? I should have guessed. Dude, that's what I'm saying, bro. Is it either Houston, Atlanta, or Toronto? But yeah, brilliant, brilliant epiphany. <laughs> yeah, so Neon is the modern day. He's the Neon. representation of the most populated country on earth. Yeah. <laughs> and then Andrew Tate, who's like complete opposite, like what a man wants to be versus what a man <laughs> doesn't want to be. <laughs> yeah, that represents like India, bro. Like, that's so fucked. That's that, like, man, we, we got a terrible representation, bro. Dude, that's why I'm going to associate myself with that. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I didn't even look at them, bro. I'm like, we don't know each other. Well, let me add Zoss to this call, bro. He could, he could add some beauty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, every, everyone knows that Indians have shit physiognomy. They're either really skinny or really fat. And, and everyone also knows Indians by religion are vegetarian. But nobody puts two and two together to like make the connection there. And then also you think about it. What else do you say, FaZe? Like the fucking, the Vikings, like the, the pillagers and all that shit. Okay, wait, Zoe's probably Ross. Do you understand what we're talking about at all, Zoe? Yes. He can make the connection. He can make the connection. Okay, so let me let me start off with my... Uh, Zoe, so, sorry, sorry to even... Are you busy? Yes. Doing what? I'm out with people right now. Oh, you are? Dude, we, I had an epiphany, bro. No, tomorrow bro, I thought, night. I thought, I thought, like, I thought there was a drive-by, but it was just a bunch of Indians doing Diwali. I'm like fucking Gaza over here, bro. <laughs> yeah, relax. Dude, like, that's actually so offensive, bro. Like, you know there's, like, people dying over there? Bro, you see how big the crowds were for the Palestine march in Atlanta? There was a Palestine march? I didn't even know about that. I didn't either. Zob, you should've went, bro. What the fuck, bro? Yeah, what, Zob? Alright, what the fuck? I'm being blamed. I'm, like, victim blamed over here. Yeah, dude, like, honestly, you're probably the reason That's why really insensitive, Zob, that, that you wouldn't go yeah, and support. Dude, that's the favorite word now. That's the favorite <laughs> word, insensitive. I get called insensitive like at least twice a day, bro. It literally says in the Quran, it says animals don't have the the uckle or whatever that humans have. Yeah, like, they don't. Yeah, so as long as people understand that shit, I think they should be fine. People, bro, I've seen like spoiled white girls pretty much worship their dogs. Like their do like yeah, little they, they, inbred they, they, chihuahuas, bro. They're like divorced from nature, like not even close to a wolf, like would never survive in the wilderness. Keeping it in their fucking purse in Hollywood, they're basically yeah. worshiping them. They are, yeah. 
Because it's like, dude, why do you have a pet like you worship that much? Bro? Yeah. And those dogs are going to suffer because of it too. Like they live, also, they live miserable lives. They're all inbred as fuck. They can't fucking breathe properly. Like oh, yeah, their genetics know. are fucked. Like their whole body is fucked because they're made entirely for cuteness. These girls are a slave to cuteness. Yeah, that's true. That's insane. If anything, if anything, the, the holistic and humane way to look at it is like the meat eater way, like the cycle of life way, you know? They, they can see it in their body, but they don't eat meat. Bro, when people stop eating meat, they look horrible. They I look know. Sick. It's crazy because anytime there's like an example of like a, oh, I'm, I'm a vegan and I have a good body. It's like world renowned news that they did it because it's so fucking rare. And it's always a celebrity that has like hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of nutritionists on standby and all that shit. It's, yeah, it's genuinely so fucking rare that you can like count the instances on one hand of people going like, ah, I'm an example of someone who has a phenomenal physique and I'm a vegan. Yeah, dude, fucking Tom and <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, that's the, all, I, all I wanted to say was uh, that I only called to like add my contribution on there, the quote, you oh, know. Oh, no, I'm glad you called. Yeah, the quote, the you today? animals are for eating, plants are for smoking. Yeah.